no doubt that sanctions have to be rolled over as Russia refused to implement and execute the Minsk deal. What we need, we need diplomatic and financial support. We truly appreciate that together with our European partners, we relaunched our IMF program and the Ukraine is uh, to get about 25 billion US dollars in the forthcoming four years. But the thing is that the gap is 25 billion dollars more. And I always insist that too much depends on the fiscal and economic stability in Ukraine. As Russia will definitely change its tactics. This is a new type of war, and I would name this war as a hybrid proxy war. And no one has any idea how to fight in this war. So it means that Putin will do everything to escalate the situation in Ukraine using all tools and means. The first one is military, what, what he has already done. The second one is economic, what he already did. The third one is social unrest and social tension, which we are facing today. Because, you know, just imagine, for example, in your countries, someone from your presidents uh, or prime ministers goes public and say, my fellow citizens, you know, we are moving towards Europe, but uh, we already frozen all, so all social expenditures. We shut down all entitlement programs. Uh, uh, we frozen all wages. We increased taxes. Uh, we increased the utility bill by six times. So it's difficult for people to survive, and he knows this. We do understand that this is the only strategy we have, and this is the right strategy, to pass all these painful, but tough, but right reforms. But they will play on this. And uh, last but not least is that uh, Russia will try to trigger the political conflict in Ukraine or political tension. Uh, we do understand all challenges we are facing. I mean, we, as together with the president, and we are ready to reply, to respond, and to tackle all these challenges. But we need the support of the globe. We need the support of the free world. Please do not go, go back to business as usual with Russia.